Does he seem to hate when you're happy? Like, did you ever see this where you feel like really great about something and he's like, okay, whatever. And he seems to even like make your life miserable. Maybe you just got home from a job promotion and it feels great. It feels amazing. Like this is something that you worked really hard for, for a long period of time. Like you're like, Hey, this is amazing. And he's just kind of like, yeah, well you work too much anyways. Slowly doing stuff to put you down. You see, a narcissist isn't fully happy at all, but a narcissist isn't fully happy when you're happy. Why? Because the focus is on you. The focus is not on him. You're like, well, that seems kind of silly. That seems like really self-centered. Welcome to narcissism because it's about the narcissist. It's about him, what he wants, his perspective, his wants, his feelings. You don't count. You don't matter. Understand your place. Okay. Now we're talking about narcissism. So when we're breaking this down, you need to be able to see a narcissist isn't going to be happy when you're happy. Why? Because that narcissist wants it about him. Like he wants the focus to be on him. So you come home and you're like, Hey, I got this amazing promotion. He's like, yeah, whatever. And he doesn't even like congratulate you. He doesn't even like lift you up. Doesn't even make you feel great or supported because instead it's like, okay, let me bring her down a little bit because she's getting a little too far out there. She's getting a little too like well-known. She's getting a little too good. She's getting a little too out there of like her image, her money's improving, all this kind of stuff. Like, wait a second, I might be insecure because something's going to change here. She's going to not need me anymore. I'm not going to be in control of her anymore. She's going to move up too much in her confidence and her self-esteem that I'm no longer going to have the supply. What do we need to do? Let's get you back down to size. Let's start chipping away at you. Yeah, you work too much. Like, yeah, you're focused with that job. Like, great job. You moved up the ladder. Woohoo! Like, all these things to bring you down. No, I'm using a job. It can apply to anything. You graduating from school, like you focusing on like a big win in your career and your in your development and in friendships and relationships and family, whatever it might be, the focus isn't on the narcissist, he's not happy. If the focus isn't on the narcissist, he's not happy. Now, what happens when the focus is on you? He's not happy. What happens when you're happy and the focus is on you? He's not happy. Okay. You see the trend here. Narcissism is only focused on himself. Like me. Like it has to be focused on me, nobody else, right? Like it has to be this central focus of you're coming back to me. You're focused on me. You're infatuated with me. You admire me. I'm entitled to you. All about me, 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 me. Okay. Narcissism is is geared this way. Okay. Now, whether you want to look at it from the abusive side, whether you want to look at it as a self-defense side, doesn't really matter. It's still focused on the same thing, me. Okay. And so narcissism is like, hey, when you're happy, I'm not going to be happy for you because that happiness is taking away from my happiness, which I don't really have happiness because I don't really know what happiness is because I'm infatuated with me. Now, when we talk about happiness, narcissists can have these moments of happiness. Okay. Like, yay, happy. Okay. But then they're not going to have it long term. Why? Because they don't have joy. You're like, well, okay, well, what does this look like? Joy is this piece of having this like peace and happiness and, 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 and love and connection. Joy is being able to be in whatever circumstance and be like, hey, I'm still okay. And for happiness, it's like, it's a high, it's a low, it's a high, it's a low. It's I'm happy. This is great. Oh, you did that. I'm, I'm, I'm mad. Instead of being like, Hey, what if you actually had joy in your life on everything? Is that actually possible for narcissists? No, not at all. Why? Because narcissism has to be able to step into gratitude. One of the challenges I have for 2024 is I'm going to be doing a gratitude stack, a a mental reframing of a mindset every single day, well, six days a week, okay? And the focus of this is helping me bring that focus from me to everyone else, from me to the clients I serve, from me to my wife, from me to my daughter, from me to the brothers I work with, like all these things, like focusing on other people. You see, narcissists don't want to focus on other people. So as a result, they're like, I'll do gratitude on me. I'm amazing. No one actually focus on other people. When you bring gratitude into a relationship, it starts to remove a lot of barriers because gratitude starts to focus on the other person and what you appreciate about the other person. Now, for a narcissist, they're not going to appreciate you because you're not him. He wants to appreciate himself. That's it. And so this is where you get into the rub of like, okay, well, if you're happy, I'm not happy because that's taking away from the focus on me. Narcissists feel like they're entitled. And so a lot of times with this entitlement, it'll be like, you just won this big thing. Like you just had this accomplishment. You just had this achievement. You just had this amazing thing that happened to you and you're really happy about it. He's like, well, that should have happened to me. 
Like I should have, like people should have saw me in that way. People should have looked at me and been that way. Like there's almost like this, like almost, it, they feel like it's a righteous like indignation of like, ah, you know, but a lot of times it's envious and jealousy. Now, I want you to understand, it's not jealousy that you're happy, okay? Like, it, it's not a jealousy of, like, this person's amazing. I'm jealous because I'm not like her, okay? It's more of jealousy of, like, you have this feeling, this aura, this idea, this perception of how you're actually feeling. And he's like, I want that, but he can't actually have that because he's not willing to actually do the work inside. And so you run into this place and you're like, I actually have happiness and I actually have joy. And he's like, let me suck that away from you and maybe I'll have it. And he takes that away from you and realizes that it's empty in his hands because he doesn't have gratitude to actually support his lack of joy. Now, it's an interesting piece because like gratitude is necessary for joy. Gratitude isn't always necessary for happiness. Like you get a sucker and you'll be like, I'm happy I got a sucker. Doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be grateful. But for a narcissist to be able to experience joy, there is this uh, chasm that he has to traverse, and that's going through this piece of gratitude. Narcissists are not willing to do that because gratitude means I have to look at other people. So I need you to understand this. Like as you're looking at this idea and this image, narcissists aren't going to like you happy because the focus is not on them. Okay? The focus is on someone else. It has to be about him. It has to be about the narcissist. If you're struggling with having a narcissist in your life, please reach out for help now.